evaluate the value of the unknown variable in the equation. Let's start by substituting in our known variable so that it's easier to solve for our unknown variable. If we rewrote the equation, we'd have 1 over, instead of L, we would put 12, since 12 and L are equivalent. We'd have 13 over 8 plus k over 6. And now we can begin to isolate k so we can find its value. We can't touch the 6 until this entire fraction is isolated. So let's start by moving 13 over 8. It's being added to k, so the opposite operation we need to do to move it is subtraction. Subtract it from both sides of the equal sign, and we are left with 1 over 12 minus 13 over 8 equals k over 6. And now we need to simplify this half of the equal sign before we can continue. And to do that, we also need to get common denominators. 12 and 8 both have a least common multiple of 24. 2 times 12 would give you 24, and 8 times 3 would give us 24. So if I multiply the numerator and denominators by both of those numbers, we will get equivalent fractions with like denominators. And now we can subtract. 2 minus 39 would give us negative 37 over 24, and that all equals k over 6. Now we can do the final step towards isolating k, which is getting rid of 6. K is being divided by 6, so the opposite operation we need to do is multiplying 6 to both sides of the equal sign. These 6s will cancel. 6 can go into 24 four times, so we can simplify this down to 1 times negative 37 over 4, which would give us negative 37 over 4. Now the only thing we have left to do is simplify this fraction. 4 can go into 37 nine times with 1 left over making A our correct answer.